Hey guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. I wanted to do a bit of a update video today to something I did a few months back, looking at the Warrior Assault Systems DCS plate carrier here. Now, I showed my sort of setup for this a couple of months ago, you can click here to see that video. Uh, and I wanted to just go through some of the changes I made and basically I put a few, uh, few different pouches on, uh, one specific piece of uh, equipment that I sh uh, showed in another video um, a few weeks ago. And I wanted to basically go through how it fits into the, the play carrier and uh, why I think it makes for a good overall setup. Now, the main thing I want to talk about first is that bit of kit that I mentioned, the, the upgrade cummerbund from First Bureau. Like I said, I did this in another video, um, but I wanted to show it again here because it's one of the most innovative, one of the best ways I think you can improve a play carrier like this in myriad of ways. So basically if you've got DCS, I mean the there's so many plate carriers that are, that are set up like the DCS is. Um, you, you have the Kamaban and then you have this uh, this panel here which is usually uh, six columns of house webbing designed to hold three uh, magazines for Stanags or uh, AK rifles. And then it's all Velcro under here, so every time you want to take the thing off, to take off one side of the Cummerbund, you've got to open up all that every time, and then you know you, you take off another load of Velcro to get one side of the Cummerbund, and then you can get out of it, or you can put it on. Um, but as you see here, the first bit of replacement just Velcros in place, and you put this Velcro section in, and then you never touch it again because you just place your flat down like that and then in future whenever you want to take the thing off put it on that's how you get out uh, that's how you access and egress via the cummerbund it's as quick and easy as that apart from just general like you know every time you take it on and off it's like 10 times faster and far easier you've also got the medical side of things if you were wearing any sort of a plate carrier and you fitted this cummerbund uh, and you were uh, just to be wounded or you've uh, you know, fallen in water, deep water, you can't swim because you don't have maybe flotation or anything like that. Straight away, you just grab your toggle, power your outfit, and uh, you can do the same on the other side. Like, you can literally just grab both, bang, out, and then you're out of there super fast. Especially, I mean, personally, if I was drowning because my armor was weighing me down, I'd probably be shitting myself when all of a sudden, Lifting up Velcro and doing all this shit is going to be ten times harder. You know, if you know about adrenal stress, you'll know what I mean. Uh, so just grabbing two bits of string and you can go up or down with them um, either direction like that. The 612 technology here, as you can see, they've cut out the, the actual webbing strips, and you've just got laser cut slits that you thread all your, your pouches through, and that saves on weight. And this is a 500 denier instead of a thousand. So if you've got a thousand D plate carrier with all these webbing strips and stuff, you swap out to this cummerbund instead of your standard one. You're shaving off a few ounces. You know, it's not the biggest in the world, but if you're fucking tabbing with it for miles and miles, it will make a difference. It's got a full range of adjustments, so you can, you know, you can tighten it down, expand it out. Um, it's got actually on in the center here. You can't, you'll never be able to see it, but um, it's got a, a shot cord threading that means that it can expand and contract as you breathe as you run as you dive prone and all that sort of stuff um, i'll cover more details in this specific video so uh, if you check out the, the previous uploads on the channel you'll be able to find it and get all the details on it pouch setup wise and I've, I've opted to not go with an admin panel because you've got these uh, you've got strips of velcro up here anyway for like your name tapes and stuff that you're showing here um, if you did want to store map, pens, GPS, phone, spare batteries, blah blah blah, and you wanted an admin, um, you know, you can put that up there, no problem. These these strips are actually house webbing, they're not this this one is just plain velcro, but this one you can attach your pouches to. I didn't need that, and then I've got my general purpose one here for any smaller items, so you leave that area clear and it does mean that accessing magazines that you stored here is that much more free and easy. So on the main front panel, this is the G-Code RTI wheel, this is the H molly mount. Uh, it just means that any G-Code holster, or any holster that has an RTI hanger, there's a few other companies that make them, um, you 
can uh, just literally clip that open, mount your holster, it just clicks in, clip that back over again and it's locked in place and if you switch to another holster, uh, another secondary weapon, um, you could even put a HSGI uh, work with G-code, so you can get one of these tacos, get a, an RTI plastic mount with an RTI hanger and then if you wanted to go from having a pistol here to another primary magazine, maybe you, you're going into a, a heavier loadout of, of kit, you can add a belt rig maybe that's got your pistol, take it off your plate carrier, add another magazine in literally you know, 10 seconds flat, uh, far quicker than fucking around with malice clips like these tacos have on them because as you'll know if you've ever tried to attach it. Uh, malice clips in general I'm not a fan of, but with the tacos they're so uh, absolute pain in the ass to actually uh, mount them onto your pals or platform. So uh, having, having that RTI capabilities uh, as quick as that is a, is a big plus. It's a little bit of extra weight and bulk, but being able to switch around, I think it's worth it. As you see here, two HSGI tacos, wide range of use for them. They fit uh, AK mags, Stanags, Org, G36, all your 7.62 NATO 308, your uh, sharpshooter mags, um, M14, all that sort of stuff. Small radios, smoke grenades, just basically having them there, uh, really versatile option, um, really versatile system. You can carry whatever gear you need in those. You, pretty much any weapons platform is going to be covered, all sorts of other equipment, whatever you need to do, straight in those. And between these, and that, uh, that RTI mount, you've got a really, really uh, easily configurable, highly modular system that is going to just adapt and change to whatever whatever it is you're doing. The only dis disadvantage to this come one, in my opinion, is that you do lose uh, this area here for the attachment of pouches. So if you wanted to run mags straight here, you'd have to move them a bit further back around. Um, that's simply, uh, you know, it's an unavoidable fact that the first beer tubes, they, you know, they have to go there. And it, uh, it does take a, it takes off maybe one column's worth of PALS mounting real estate. So if that was absolutely essential to you and having that option of donning and doffing the play carrier super fast isn't so important, then yeah, maybe this wouldn't be the way to go. But uh, I think overall it's, it's the better option. Just here got the uh, medium vertical utility pouch with a helium whisper backing from Blue Force gear. Now, I would generally advise to actually go with a small pouch unless you've got a loader kit in your carry because the medium is actually very large. Uh, it overhangs the cummerbund here, whereas the small is just the right size and fits on a, a bit more neatly. don't have that overhang. Super lightweight pouches, they use 500 denier cordura and with the a uh, hypalon material for the back in here, um, fully compatible with uh, any any PALS rig or 612 from any first beer stuff. On the far side, pistol tacos, and um, I set this up primarily for mounting a pistol here, so you're going to want your pistol mags uh, right there to stand by, you can just grab them from there. Good thing with the tacos, as with the rifle version, the pistol ones can accommodate all your double stack 9 mils, so all your fucking Beretta M9, uh, Glock 17, M&P, uh, whatever it, it, your issue, your, your carry weapon is, it'll accommodate those. And if you go to a single stack slimmer like a 1911, you just tighten down the elastic and they will hold that as well. And larger stuff, you know, if you if for some reason you're carrying a 5.7 or a Desert Eagle, some with massive pistol mags, they'll accommodate that. Switching around to the back. Left side, this is a tactical tailor, vertical, uh, it's a small utility. Good for a lot of things, but I, I might personally put it there so it can carry a radio. Uh, it's good for that. Um, I think people tend to get kind of bogged down and like if a pouch is called a radio pouch then you have to buy it to store your radio you can't like mix things around sort of stuff but uh, end of the day a good utility or GP pouch will do a lot of different stuff for you, you know if you're carrying large radios and biters and all that sort of stuff then yeah you know you might need something more specific but for anything smaller 
could pretty much fit it in a pouch like this. The antenna is to actually exit the pouch, just leave a bit of the zip open. You can then route your wire up through the pals, through the shoulder straps here on the DCS. And uh, that will give you a nice little setup. Here is the Warrior Soul Systems foldable dump pouch. Floors like so. And there's a dump pouch if you want to dump away your empty mags for that sort of reload or sensitive site exploitation. All this kit has a wide range of uses. Not going to be easy to fold it away again while the carrier is still on you but if you do suddenly need to store some evidence away, carry some random bit of thing that you've picked up, fucking whatever it might be, you can dump it in there and again with the magazines. Hydration wise this is the Patrol Instant Gear, uh, SKD Tactical uh, exclusive brand really nice hydration carrier. The two litre version, great thing about it is that the DCS is a short blade carrier, you know, um, it's only just as high as it needs to be to accommodate the necessary ballistic plates. And that means if you run a three litre hydration carrier it's going to either poke out over the top or overhang underneath, which it's not the end of the world, maybe not preferable. Um, if you, if you uh, depending on whatever your situation might be, if, you, if two litres is enough of uh, water for you then just go with the two litre, fits it nicely. Again nice and uh, nice and lightweight piece of kit because it's made out of 500D instead of 1000. This is a velcro option um, you can get with or without the velcro strips like this. Inside it, always got to be the source hydration bladders uh, that pretty much blow camel pack out of the water as far as their design is concerned. tube for the hydration bladder, it's got a little uh, multicam cover on it, pretty much an aesthetic nicety, um, but at uh, the end of the day it, it could potentially save, you know, these, these covers, you can go, get them on eBay, just type in hydration tube cover or just google it and you'll find the store and they've got every camo pattern you can think of. You don't want uh, to be riding around in a vehicle or something and there's some bit of metal rubbing on the cover of your hydration tube and all of a sudden can't then access the water on your back so just spending like three bucks on some Cordura to wrap around it and then you've got that abrasion protection and uh, the sun's not going to be wearing out on the materials which will weaken it all that sort of stuff just a couple of bucks save your uh, hydration tube from any potential damage because they're not usually the strongest they're not bad you know, especially with Camelback and Source they do use really good quality uh, the rubber for the actual tube and then the sheath is good but having that bit more bit more camouflage uh, you know it's not really adding any weight and for a couple of dollars uh, it's worth doing I think. Uh, that is the updated version of the DCS from Warrior Soul Systems you can pick these up from UK Tactical you can get all these pouches uh, from you know, wherever it is you buy your kit you can get tacos from various various different stores same with the blue force gear pouches obviously warrior pouches come from UK tactical as well pig pouch comes from skd tactical i've put a load of different uh, links for this sort of stuff down in the description and yeah of course the cumberbund first beer pick it up from first beer um, as well as various uh, american Based retail size. I don't think anyone in the UK is stopping first beer yet, uh, but hopefully, from this cross, that will change over time. So, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Appreciate all the subscribers, all the thumbs up and shares, and all that good stuff. It's, uh, it's good. And, uh, cheers again for watching. I'll see you next time.